what I've got, shall I? Right, so I've seen this in quite a few other Primark hauls and that's one of the reasons why I went in because I just absolutely fell in love with it and thought, I need that in my life. Ta da It's only another handbag, you know me in handbags. Let me just move it a little bit, let me go. So, as you can see, this lovely faux leather mustard coloured which is so on trend at the moment everything is mustard and leopard print honestly the amount of leopard print that is in the shops right now because it's just all coming back as they say what goes around comes around leopard print is big as is mustard so our shoulder straps so you can get it up there on your shoulder nicely it does up with just a little unpopper thing there. It doesn't have a zip, which may be a problem for some people, but um, if you keep it sort of tucked under your arm, it should be it should be okay. So inside, you know I said how big leopard print is? It's only on the inside. Look at that. I mean, there aren't any pockets or anything. It literally is just this great big sort of tote bag or shopper um the leopard print is also on the back of the little strap that secures it and i just thought that's a nice little touch because this bag i mean it wasn't expensive as you as you would know it was only eight pounds and i just thought that was a nice little touch to have it there as opposed to just that mustard colour on the other side but I just thought it's really nice really roomy and one thing I really like about it it is so so light you know it's just so light um, by the time you get your bits and pieces in here it's not going to be too heavy a lot of bags that I have especially real leather bags they're really heavy before you start to put anything in um, but yeah I thought that was really nice I've, as I said, I've seen it on quite a few Primark hauls now and uh, it was something I really wanted to, to grab so to go with this keeping with the mustard theme I picked up this beautiful scarf for the winter. This was six pounds. It's really warm, it's soft, it's not at all itchy. Um, it's just, oh, so cozy. I love autumn, it's my favorite time of year. Um, and I just thought this was really nice. It's a really big scarf and uh, six pounds as i say you could if you wanted to you could like have it as a sort of put it around like this um you could have it like in the evening if you wanted to just sat watching tv or something um or just wear it as a scarf as i will there's so many different looks you can do with scarves these days but just for like coziness with your coat on and and everything you could have this all wrapped up round by your ears and just sort of nice and cozy so I went in there to get three specific things. So it was the bag, it was the scarf, and it was this cardigan theme going on here, as you can see, quite clearly. This was £9. Um, I picked it up in extra large. I could have got it in the large, I think, but I wanted it to be really oversized. And so if I wanted to put another jumper underneath it, I could just like really get cosy in it. But again, it's mustard. It's got the long, long sleeves. Um, cuffs are like this. Same sort of hem at the bottom, which is quite wide. And it's also got pockets. I'll stick it on, shall I? Hello, Elsie. What are you doing up there? Are you a scallywag? Do you see what I mean? I really wanted one that... Get down! No, you're not allowed on the table. No. Um, yeah, it doesn't have any buttons or anything like that. It just literally has a free edge and so it just falls like that. It's because I've got the chair out. She keeps getting on. That's a naughty girl. So I thought this was lovely, really oversized, really comfortable. You can see how long it is as well. So yeah, I thought, lovely. Look, it comes right up nice and high. Look at the neck. Keep me cosy. 
Yep, and as I say, this was, that was £9. So they're the three mustard things I actually went in for. So I went in for the cardigan, I went in for the bag, and I went in for the scarf. And I was just so happy that all three were there. The other things I picked up were, um, we needed a new charger for the car. I can't show it to you, it's actually in the car now, but this was four pounds and it's a two meter one and it was in this bag. Um, last night when we got home, we went to Kent yesterday to see um, two of the daughters and grandchildren up there. And when I got out of the car, I actually shut the cable lead in the car door, so that was knackered. So just picked up this and it works brilliantly. Um, also picked up, I needed some new headphones, so I picked up these. So these were four pounds, and then literally just the volume control earphones. So I picked up those. Um, also picked up these for my my daughter Holly. Um, she's just literally started up her own beauty salon from home and it's called Sugar Skull Beauty and all of our clients are just going crazy buying all these different skull things and I've got um, a mug here that I need to take over to it with a sugar skull on it and then when I saw these for £2.50 I just thought they were amazing <laughs> so I thought she quite liked those then I picked up this hairbrush and it's called a dry shampoo brush I've never heard of anything quite like it before what does it say it was two pounds and it says oh for the even distribution of dry shampoo spray dry shampoo into the hair following the shampoo instructions massage thoroughly with the fingertips to ensure the roots are fully covered brush through the hair to remove excess shampoo basically to me well anyway it looks like this this is what it actually looks like Okay, um, see it that way. So these are like the plasticky, well, the nylon, nylon bristles here. And this is actually quite soft, but it reminds me of um, like a back combing brush, but it's not anywhere near as thick and um, as harsh as that. They are actually, look, if you have a look, you can see they're actually quite soft. Um, but I thought this would be quite good to try. I do use a lot of dry shampoo, especially if I'm doing a vintage hairstyle. It really helps to do the style if you use dry shampoo. Um, if you are already subscribed to my channel, you would know now, by now anyway, that I am just about to do some more vintage hairstyle tutorials. I have done some in the past. I'm just about to start doing some more this week um, I've got several planned so I will be trying and reviewing this brush and the final thing that I actually got so first of all I'll explain um, this morning my son and daughter-in-law um, they are I think they're 17 weeks pregnant um, I wouldn't swear to that, but I'm sure that's what they are. Um, anyway, they had a private scan today to see if they could find out the sex of the baby. And woohoo, we were successful. There it was. Oh my God, of course, grandma starts crying. Always start crying. Um, happy tears, of course. So excited, the baby. Oh my gosh. So cute, it's opening its little mouth and like putting its arm up and that went like this, like the thinking pose and little legs and um, Kerry had to kind of like move around and everything to get a position so that we could see and anyway so we managed to find the position so the baby's like bottom was on full view, the legs were apart then we could see what it was and all of a sudden the baby like closed his legs together it was like okay you've had a look now that's enough that's enough um anyway yeah delighted absolutely delighted and so happy to announce 
they're having a little boy. Um, they already have a little boy. Max is, well, he's going to be 12 in September. Um, so, yeah, another little boy to welcome into the family. And I'm just so excited, honestly. And what a privilege to be there. Um, so I was there, obviously, Nathan and Kerry were there. And my son Luke was there. And what an amazing privilege to be able to be there to, to witness an amazing thing. And to, just to see this little boy grow. Oh, I mean... My baby is due in January, so lovely start to the new year. Um, anyway, so Kerry and I, Kerry came with me to Primark and she picked up just a couple of little like baby vests and things like that, the basics, and um, I saw this. Well, Kerry ha already has bought today and sort of since she's been pregnant, she has picked up the odd newborn thing. So when we saw this, this was up to one month, so £10. So I thought I'd pick up this, and we both absolutely thought it was beautiful. It really reminds me of like the old-fashioned, almost like Liberty Bodice, and you've got to be my age, you've got to be old to know what a Liberty Bodice is. Um, yes, yeah, so we picked up this, and it's got a little elephant. Wish upon a star. Look how cute that is. Wish upon a star, long sleeves, and the one underneath again has the little crossover and it's got all these little clouds on it. Oh my god, I'm so excited! This, so two pack, five pounds, five pounds. How amazing is that! Um, I didn't take it for granted that I could share this news with you. I did say to Kerry, oh, shall I give this to you now? And she was like, oh, don't you want to include it in your haul? And I thought, can I? Can I? Can I actually? Can I say, you know, that you're having the baby and that you're having a boy and everything? She said, yeah, of course. So now, guys, I can share that with you. So I will include some scam pictures for you. It's like, I cannot wait until January to have another new baby in the family so this is going to be grandchild number nine and i cannot wait so that's it then guys that's everything i actually got in this haul if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you like this type of a um a video if you like shopping hauls press the notification bell subscribe to my channel if you like this video and you want to see more give me a thumbs up i will see you all in the next video bye